Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. Today I have a big pile of WizKids models that I figured we'd unbox because I'm in the mood to not have to build stuff right now. So we're going to have a nice and easy time here. But there's been some neat stuff and I got to give WizKids credit. They have continued to push both the quality of the models and the depths of which they will plumb for interesting things to represent on the tabletop. Now, I'm not much of a RPG player, but I do appreciate the fact that we're seeing so many bizarre monsters make their way into plastic models for the table. So, without further ado, let's start our menagerie off here with these dudes. Male Elf Magus. Magus. Chrono Trigger Villains. Turn good. So I know there's like that one iconic Pathfinder dude, but they just look stylish in their all black leather with their magic hanging on their hands and their swords and whatnot. And honestly, I, I gotta give WizKids credit as the line continues to grow, the quality and intricacy of the models does as well. He's a nice looking guy. You a handsome fellow, aren't you? That looks cool. This buddy kind of too. I keep looking at them and I keep thinking I should totally paint them up like the Sparta brothers, Dante and Virgil. I don't know. It's quite tempting. It's really tempting, but I do like them and they're all black, fancy, late 90s. Oh, I'm so dark and morose. Or would that be early 2000s? So well, I'm going to toss the bases aside that come with these models. I'm not a big fan. They're too small for my tastes. And I prefer, because I have a bajillion Reaper ones from backing various Reaper Kickstarters, that we're good to go. See, they're, they're really tiny. They're like chocolate mint wafers. They're, they're not much better than like the tiddly winks that used to come with Animatactics models. See, they're almost the same size. Anyway, so what do we have that I just opened up? These are human barbarians. And look at that as he's channeling the power of his inner ancestor who does not seem to be attached to the base, which may or may not be a good thing. Actually, it's probably a good thing. He's just going to go like that. And I'm just reminded of Weapon Lord for the Super Nintendo, and I don't know why. Anura! That is kind of cool, though. Would they both even fit? That's the other thing that bugs me, is a lot of these models don't want to actually fit on the provided bases either. They got plenty of them, though, so that's not a big deal. That's kind of cool. And then we have a more typical, shouting, half-naked barbarian type. This hair done in a nice, neat ponytail. The barbarian boys, the least you could do is try to be tougher and bigger and more imposing than the fancy elf magi. They're not really. All right. Who's next? Actually, none of them are as cool as my female orc ladies. I don't know. She's a half orc or what? She's like my, my barometer for cool deep cuts models. She just came out really nice. I like this model a lot. You are puny. Anyway, moving on. Do I have any other humans? I guess let's take care of the humans first. The miserable piles of secrets. What is this miserable pile of secrets? Human monks. So we have one who is gathering up her chi energy here. Oh, cool. It is removable. I was going to say, that's going to be a pain to paint around, but that is nice. It is removable, and I don't need to worry about that then. Okay. Hopefully I don't lose it in the process. And then we have the cool dragon quick, quick, dragon kick. I can speak. That's her leg down there. I was like, what's going on? Scale seems pretty consistent with these models. Nobody's like ridiculously larger than the next. 
except for this dude. This dude's really tall for some reason. Let's get to the fun stuff, though. Oh, yeah, I did mean the fun stuff. We've got some Dragonborn. Not as cool as the earlier Dragonborn models. I'm assuming these are more on the female side? I don't know. It's not like you can really tell what the reptile is. This one's got a cool magic axe. I didn't care for the paint jobs on the box. So I'm just going to do whatever. And then the other one. Should they give him a shield? Are they bigger than the humans at least? Not exactly. This one may be, but he's too hunched over. So, nobody can fault WizKids for not coming up with a wide variety of races and classes. At this point, I think they're the only one that are really actually providing any consistent Dragonborn models. Sadly, Reaper has not stepped their game up. They've got plenty of interesting human models, but not much in the way of Dragonborn. And if you've ever heard me ramble, you guys would probably know those are my absolute favorite types of models. You know what else are some of my favorites? Ogres. I love me some ogres. Bigger base. For a bigger model. Let's see how they have it painted. Hmm. Pretty standard, a little boring. Sculpt's nice though. I think it's just the, the plainness of the outfit. You can do a couple different colors stitched together. One nice thing about the material that WizKids has been using is it's a lot easier to keep solid and flat and not bend and warp. I know some of the earlier models had issues with it, but they seem to have gotten a little bit better about that. I don't like it. It's not GW-sized ogre, but that's okay. It's not supposed to be. Alright, and besides ogres, I love me some reptiles. So I wanted to try out the raptors that they had. Very plain Jurassic Park-style paint jobs. And if you are concerned about their lack of plumage then be ready to be disappointed they are very much in the vein of the jurassic park style ones being fantasy raptors though they don't have to be limited to actual correct scientific size they are the perfect size to harass a party of adventurers with and i do like that you get at least two in there that's always nice. And I like that their tails are up. Those tails should not be on the ground. Alright, time for some weird stuff. What is this? We've got a basilisk and a grell. I know my son wanted me to get the basilisk. I love grells. They're so weird. To me, if you're going to make models based on an RPG, this is the kind of stuff that you really should be on the lookout for. Tentacled floating brains with bird beaks. Because why not? Oh my goodness, our basilisk. You are so tiny and you're not even attached to your base. Why not? Chee-chee. Chee-chee. Tiny. And he's got little imprints for all of his feet. Did they not bother gluing you down? What is your story, my friend? Actually, it's probably to my advantage. That way I can go ahead and glue it. Or paint it. Yeah, obviously I'm going to glue it. Mama, you're tiny. Who's your cutie? He really is tiny. But I mean, it's a basilisk. It's not like the crazy stuff from hordes and war machine where they're you know, towering over people finally the last two boxes that we have to pop open today are some salads i mean slats we have a blue cheese no, 
blue slad. Slade? Slayad. Slaad. Anyway, I like slads. This is a big one. I used to have all the pre-painted ones. I love them. I am not loving those hideous mold lines. But that is what it is. I'm giving a good base, I think. That would help a lot. So he's really tall and imposing. You know, honestly, at this point, I gotta just drag my kids through a D and D adventure. It's not like I don't have enough models from the various Kickstarters and online shops that we couldn't actually just go ahead and play something. And finally, as I ramble to myself, we have a green slab, which you can't see yet, but I'll show you in just a sec. This is the spellcaster one, and yeah, he's not super green, but it's easy to fix. He's a wise old froggy. Big, too. So slads are like interdimensional entities or something, if I remember correctly. I don't know. I haven't... I own enough monster manuals that I probably should know better and can give you a, a thorough explanation, but they're all on the shelf, and they're not in the same room as me, so sadly I can't do that at the moment. But I gotta say... Kudos to Wiz Kids. They continue to impress me with their variety and regularity of release of new models. There's a few that I wanted to get that I forgot to get. And I want to say these are all from the most recent expansion or wave or whatever you want to call it. And there's a lot of interesting stuff out there. There's a lot of interesting ones that I didn't get yet just because, well, I wanted to save some money. It ain't cheap doing this. Yeah. If you've got a local store that carries these, I would suggest by all means do yourself a favor and go out and grab some because we would love to continue to see interesting and funky models make their way to the tabletop as often as possible. And the crazy thing is I've already seen previews for even more stuff coming after this wave. So hopefully by then everybody will be safe and sound and we'll be able to actually get these into games with friends and family in the near future. With that said, this is High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Say thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon. Bye bye.